No, no. No, no video? No camera. No camera inside? No. Okay. I used to think that museums were just stuffy places filled with old junk and old pictures until I learned to appreciate them, not only for the architecture, but the story behind it. So I hope not to bore you with my tour of the Ho Chi Minh City Museum of Fine Arts. Ho Chi Minh City Museum of Fine Arts is the major art museum in Saigon. It covers three three-floor buildings, which house a collection of Vietnamese artworks in sculpture, oil, silk, lacquer, and woodcut paintings. But the main attraction here may very well be the architecture. As is the case with many museums, the buildings this one lives in have a very storied history. Back in the day, this was colloquially known as Uncle Hoa's Mansion. This museum started its story out as the company headquarters for Hui Ban Hoa, who was, for lack of a better term, the Donald Trump of his era in the late 1800s and early 1900s. He was a landlord and pawn shop entrepreneur. Hui Ban Hoa, he dreamed his entire life, he dreamed of building this giant campus with many mansions where the entire family could live. And that did not happen in his lifetime. So his son and other descendants fulfilled his dream with his money after his death and converted the original company house into a residence and built the other residences here that are now the Ho Chi Minh City Fine Arts Museum. When the communists took over Saigon, the uh, Ban Hoa family fled to other parts of the world, mostly Paris, because the communists were not fans of wealthy Saigonese that lived in homes such as this one. So they peaced out. When I visit a place, I like to follow two rules, drink with the locals and visit the museums. And I've been doing plenty of the former. So I figured today, a Sunday during my month of sobriety, when I'm looking for something civilized to do, visiting a museum just might be a good idea. This is an elevator that was built by a foreign company, but finished in a more traditional Vietnamese woodworking style. Another elevator. You know you're wealthy when you've got an elevator in your house in the early 1920s. In this room are sketches of the Southern Resistance War. The communist rule dictated what could be art and what could not be art. So this is anti-government art, I guess you would call it. This room here was probably one of the bedrooms in the house. You could just hear the children here fighting over who gets the biggest bedroom. Mom, I'm not coming down to dinner until I get 14 servants fanning me with palm fronds and feeding me grapes like my big sister. I was in Phu Quoc a few weeks ago at Sunset Town. It's a brand new city, Las Vegas style, that was constructed to look like ancient Rome. But here, this building, this architecture has earned its stripes, so to speak. The weathering that you see on these columns is actual weathering. This building here has a real physical sense of history. This is a piece of artwork that I did want to see when I came here. It's a lacquer painting that took 20 years to finish. Just a fascinating technique. This here is a cool exhibit you don't see very often. It's a display of the artist's smock, paint brushes and other tools. And it paints a really clear picture of the artist slaving away in their studio, covered in paint blotches, probably chain smoking all day. These are some of the silk paintings. They have a real 
Monet kind of softness to them. In this room are lacquer engravings, which are really cool. Again, just for the medium itself and more oil on canvas, which um, is always cool to look at just for the texture. You can really see the craftsmanship right there in three dimension. These paintings are not encased in glass. They are fully exposed and I don't want to touch them. Of course, I want to be respectful of the artwork, but it allows you to really get a sense of the tactile nature, particularly this oil on canvas stuff. Now this room here is interesting. I mean, look at the size of this place. Compared to those other smaller bedrooms, this thing is gargantuan. So maybe a big family dining room, the bedroom of the homeowner or his mistress. This is a formal chair carved hardwood with mother of pearl inlay and a marble inset backrest. You could just picture the pompous prick that owned this house sitting in one of these chairs yelling at his staff, bring me my horse and pfeffer. There's always a story of industry behind the artistry, which is why this place, the Ho Chi Minh City Fine Arts Museum, used to be called Uncle Hoa's Mansion. I hope you enjoyed the tour and my brief version of the history here. I will see you in the next video. This is Brando. Until next time, subscribe and stay tuned.